I've got my studio in the back garden. I was approached to do a work um, and I wanted to work with Samton for this commission. So I decided to I decided to go back into into my memory and, and go back to my first experiences with Samton as a child growing up. And I remember at the time, this was in the 1980s, most of Samton as we know it. Was, was felt, I felt. And that to me was a starting point. So I decided to go back and consider the archaeology um, of, of Sandton. Um, in other words, what, what was there before? What was, what was there before the, the skyline went up as we know it today? I'm interested in the history of Johannesburg, um, always have been. So, I decided to go back to the time when Santon was uh, this semi-rural um, farmland and even before that when Boer settlers arrived in the African interior and um, the, the high felt. Santon was known as Zanspruit, um, the farm, it was an old Boer farm called Zanspruit and before Zanspruit um, Twana people settled in the or lived in the in the area as well. So for this drawing, I'm an I'm an archaeologist. Um, I go back to the very beginnings of Sandton. It's people that lived in a space um, before leave something of their culture um, behind. You know, maybe you would find uh, um, Twana pots. Uh, you would maybe find bones. You would maybe find. Uh, plowshares and then on top of that you know when the Boer settlers arrived you know I'm thinking ox wagon farming activity um, and then on top of that I'm thinking um, industrialization um, and, and, and slowly oh, that, that's the idea I've, I would like to build up these layers um, of history one on top of the other um, until we get to until we get to contemporary science today Jamsburg is known for um, its, um, its, its changing landscape. The city was built on change. It's a landscape that one battles to, to capture. It constantly slips out of your grasp. The, the minutes when I find that I've made sense of a particular time and space, uh, when I revisit that space, it is completely different. William Kentridge sums it up beautifully when, when he says the landscape draws itself. The landscape of Johannesburg draws itself.